Hi folks. I uh, just want to read from uh, a little story from the book of Isaiah, from chapter 39. And I'm covering verses 1 to 8. I won't read them all, I'll just read the selection. But what happened was that some men had come from the court of Babylon to visit Hezekiah in Israel. And uh, Hezekiah, being a hospitable man, welcomed them in, probably fed them, gave them refreshments, and then he showed them round the place, showed them everything he'd got. Shortly after they had left, Isaiah turned upon the scene. Wow. And this is what he said. He said to Hezekiah, what did they see in your palace? And Hezekiah replied, they saw everything. I showed them everything I own, all my royal treasures. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, listen to this message from the Lord of heaven's armies. The time is coming when everything in your palace, all the treasures stored up by your ancestors until now, will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. Some of your very own sons will be taken away into exile. They will become eunuchs who will serve in the palace of Babylon's king. Then Hezekiah said to Isaiah, now listen to this folks, this message you have given me from the Lord is good, for the king was thinking at least there will be peace and security during my lifetime. Wow. So Hezekiah thought to himself, uh, it's not a bad message because at least there will be peace and security during my lifetime. You know, Hezekiah had probably been the most godly, prayerful and caring king that Israel had ever known, at least since the days of David. In the previous chapter, it tells us that he was at the point of death, he was dying. And it says that while he was dying, he turned his face to the wall and he prayed. And during that prayer, he reminded the Lord of his faithfulness and his godly reign. And he says, the Bible says that the Lord heard him and healed him and God promised him another 15 years of life. Wow, what a man, or so it appeared. What a man that can get to grips with God like that all on his own. But now something else happens. All of a sudden we see something quite selfish, if not rotten, about Hezekiah. After being delivered this message of ju uh, judgment that was about to come upon uh, his people, he thought to himself, oh, it's not too bad, because at least there will be peace and security during my lifetime. Mm. Blow the kids and the grandkids. As long as I have peace and security, that's all that counts, isn't it? You know, at that point, I lose respect for Hezekiah. And I wonder if the same root of selfishness can be found in the church of today. When we look at the sorry state of our nation, do we as Christians feel concerned for tomorrow's generation? What kind of legacy will we be leaving them? In the days of old, in this country, the church had a very strong voice throughout this land. You know, we produced men such as William Wilberforce, who fought successfully against the slave trade. We had men like Lord Ashley, the Earl of Shaftesbury, who fought against the abuse of child labour and won. These and many more people left a strong legacy for this country and for our generation. You know, we have no such men in our parliament these days. What we now have uh, is career politicians who really don't care about the, their country uh, and whether they leave a bad legacy for those who follow. They really do not care. You know, an Israeli friend of mine once said to me, John, he said, the problem with your politicians is that they don't think as far as the next generation. They only think as far as the next election. <laughs> Wise words, eh? We should all stop and consider what we ought to be doing by way of leaving a legacy for the generation that follows ours, our children, our grandchildren. 
What is our duty as Christians? What would the Lord have us to do for the next generation? Should we at least be praying for that next generation? Should we be possibly speaking out against some of the rottenness that is now in our society? Where is the voice of the church? I don't hear it very often. On the website there are a couple of good sermons on the sermon page. One is by one of our girls called Barbara and is titled Who Am I? Well worth listening to. The second one is by uh, one of our girls called Joyce and the title of it is Here Am I, Send Me. Now you, if you listen to the one by Joyce, uh, she's a bit throaty, she's got a very, very sore throat and we weren't sure she was going to turn up to preach but she did bless her. But it's still listenable. Why not listen to these and see if the Lord speaks to your hearts? When Hezekiah was dying, he proved himself to be a capable prayer warrior. But when Isaiah pronounced judgment on his children and grandchildren, he seems to have gone very, very quiet and more preoccupied with what's going to happen to him. Will we be like Hezekiah? Or can we be stirred up to pray for our next generation? By the looks of it, folks, they're going to need our prayers the way things are going. God bless you all. Have a good week. Enjoy the website. Talk to you again soon. Bye.